Okay, uh, once the uh, it's done running, all we gotta do is click on View Erosion Maps. And what you get is a map of the erosion in that area all around your farm, green being low and red being very high erosion. Um, but really what we want is we want to be able to bring this into ArcGIS. That's our program we've been using everything for, and this works fairly well on that. So we can go to the right and we go to Download Watershed Project. Um, then we say click here to download the wet file. And go ahead and save the file, but make sure you know you're where you're saving it, because we're going to need it here in a little bit when we bring it in ArcMap. And you notice I've got one there already that I did earlier here this semester, and I'm just going to put it in my ICM folder that I've created. So y'all should have an ICM folder you've been working with. Let the download go, and then make sure when it's done, um, you open up that folder. Just a second here. So I just went to my file manager, and I got to the folder in ICC ICM 14. I'm saving it here on the hard drive of the computer. And scroll on down, and you'll see the two web projects. I want the one, obviously, with today's date on it. And I'm going to right-click. And on campus, we use 7-zip to extract here. Um, you may have other tools here, but we've worked with zip files before, so hopefully you understand how they extract a file. Um, so we're just going to click Extract here. And um, yes to all. Um, I'm getting a message here because there's already one that exists. Um, you shouldn't get that message because your folder doesn't already exist as you're looking at your file. So when you're done extracting, you see a bunch of these files that say WEP on them. These are shape files, which are kind of dirty for ArcMap, but we can clean them up and make them work in ArcMap. But don't mess with any of them from here because we're going to bring them ArcMap and fix them from there. So go ahead and start ArcMap. So, well, and again, I've got mine open here. You've added our map with your farm that you've already created, and we're going to add another file to it. So we just come up to Add Files, and we go and find that web file, and you may have to search around a little bit for it again, just like um, we did before, your ICM folder. And we want to find that web file that we want to add, and we want the uh, web loss file. The web loss file ASCII. There are a lot of different web files here. The one we're just going to work with right now is web loss ASCII. That's the one that's going to give us some basic information by fields as we work with it. So just click on that one and click add. And it'll come in. They'll say you've got some missing spatial reference. That's fine. We'll take care of that a little bit. So we wanted to find a projection just so it works better with our farm operation here. So we're going to open up our ARC toolbox, and that's going to be under your data management tools, uh, projections and transformations. This goes back to the chapter you did in um, ArcGIS, um, the class. And here's where we click Define Projection. We just double click that. And from there, we're going to pick that ASCII file, Web Loss ASCII file. Then we're going to click here to figure out which one. And typically what we've been doing is the, um, well, we can actually click under layers. This shows the ones we're currently using. And NAT 83 zone 15 north is the one we're primarily wanting to use here. So we'll just pick that. If you don't have that there, go under projected coordinate systems and you can find that. And I think we've been through this enough times, hopefully, that you can sort that out. Um, that will then set up and fix the projection on this file so that it works properly with our map. When you're done, you should get a green message at the bottom that says uh, define projection with a green check mark. If it's a red check mark, you're going to have to try it again because something didn't work properly. But hopefully it works properly for you and you get that kind of message down at the bottom. Okay, just so I can see this map a little bit, I'm going to actually make this hollow here um, on my um, fill color. It's going to be no color at all and make it uh, probably a red uh, two point. So I can kind of see through that behind there. Oops, we're going to turn off my field soils that's underneath there. And then we're going to open up the properties for my web loss because I don't like the black and white. Um, I want to make it a little bit different. And we're just going to use kind of a green to a red color um, is what I kind of like to use the best with green being fairly good soil and red being fairly poor or vice versa. Uh, this is one right here I think is the one I'll use. Um, and click OK, and that's basically going to get us graphics of the soil erosion for each one of those catchments or subcatchments that we created there um, to show where things are. Um, the last thing we're going to need to do then is actually determine what is the average soil loss by field because we're going to do a phosphorus index by field here in a little bit. I need to know how much soil is being lost by field. So we'll do that in the next little recording. So I'll go ahead and stop this, and you can hopefully have this saved, this project saved. 
Um, so everything's not lost there, and we'll go with next.